We're at uh, Paul's work. This is the, yeah. the junior high school, right? So it's grades yeah. what? Uh, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. They call it one, two, three in Japan. Like oh, okay. Junior high school, one, two, three, but yeah. Ichi ni. San. Oh, san. Yeah. Right. Ichi ni san. Yep. All right. It. And uh, this is their field, their playing field, and it's got a few shrubberies along the edge. Very nice. Yep. Uh, Dr. Seuss type tree, <laughs> and they don't have grass, and apparently it's very typical for Japanese playing fields not to have any grass. I'm not sure why, where that would even come from, but... Is that a Chick-fil-A? <laughs> it looks, looks like a Chick-fil-A. Yeah, no. It's that's not. It's uh, hardware store. Hardware. <laughs> I, don't know why, I don't know why they have a chicken in much. And, uh... Paul doesn't want me to show the name of the school, so... I'll just, uh, we'll try to sneak a couple shots without getting Paul in trouble. So all the kids would come in here, take their shoes off, and yeah, each grade has their own boxes. So you have your outdoor shoes, and these would be filled with your indoor shoes. So like which you bring at the beginning of your year, and that's your cubby. Yeah. So this is they're not marked though. Like yeah, it's not now because we're in the the changing of the year, so the new. But you think they just put students. a number, and they can well, just leave the number there? I think it'll put their name or something. Oh, okay. It, it will be organized as soon as they figure out who's in what class. Got it. Because the school year will start next week. And this is my name here. Oh. And there's my shoes. So. Hey, nice shoes. Yeah. So you come in, you change your shoes, and then you can walk around the rest of the the area. Very cool. It's always just seems kind of lonely, right? When there's no kids. No, yeah. No, no, no. It's like a ghost town. Mm -hmm. But there's like 500 and some odd school uh, students here. Cool. The school. Well, thanks for showing me, sir. <laughs> Sewage. Emergency stop. Is that to uh, tell the train that something maybe there's something probably, on the track? You know, yeah, I, I don't know. Give them a heads up. Okay, Paul, yeah. give us the rundown of this place. This is the place. Here, point your camera at the sign. That's oh, all you need so to good. know. Here we are here. Current position. Oh, yeah, it's all in English. So, there's the information. History of ah. Kofu Castle. So, the thing is, the original castle was destroyed, right? Right. After the Meiji Restoration. Um, and they, they rebuilt it as sort of a... I guess they call it the Castle Ruins in 1968. They rebuilt it. So it's not the authentic first castle, but it's sort of bits and pieces. It's not as, you know, exciting as right. the Matsumoto Castle, but you've got, a, cool. you've got like a tower and a few bits of the courtyard. And somehow the gate is over on the other side of the tracks. Hmm. But yeah, they restored it. Just it's sort of a castle park kind of thing, you know? Cool. Yeah. Let's go investigate. Yeah, let's do it. Big yeah. stairs. They made them too big for originally.
Look, three prong. Just uh, finished checking out that very large building, and they're they're practicing kendo, kendo right? Kendo, yeah. So they do judo as well. That's what the mat was for. The kendo's right. on the normal floor. But yeah. So what was this building? This was the like. That's probably where they hang out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So it's like their break time. So they were practicing kendo in the big building, and then I guess they're yeah. breaking. There's one guy laid out on the floor, and I guess that's the guy whose ass they kicked. <laughs> I think. He was stretching think or something. Police officers as well. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Is it? It's a patty that's like a mayonnaise type sauce, and then there's like a sort of meat, tomato meat sauce. Okay. Uh, big old tomato, and that's pretty much this. This is their signature burger. Right? Okay. And they add cheese to it, and this means they add some of the pickled jalapenos if you want a spicy version. This is the one I usually get. Um, and, and they're famous all across. That's kind of cool. 350. Yeah, it's got the rainbow effect going on. Yeah, chicken. Uh, we are at Moss Burgers. Moss Burger, yes. In what town? Um, this is this Kofu. This is in Kofu, yeah. Kofu, Japan. And uh, this is supposed to be one of the most well known burger places in all of Japan. Yeah, that's right. It's a Japanese chain and it's as popular, if not more popular, than, say, a McDonald's would be at least in Japan. Right. I do know there are a few branches in some other countries, like in Singapore and maybe a few other Asian countries. I'm not sure if there's one in Hawaii or anywhere in the U.S. or right. anything, but they're all over Japan. Okay. Hello, vlog people. We just finished eating at Moss Burger. Mm -hmm. Have a few extra fries. You sure don't want one? I'm good. <laughs> when he refuses food, it kind of scares me. He's like, yeah, a couple of people died last week. <laughs> I'd never eat here. <laughs> I'd never eat here. I'd never order that. Yeah, no. I'm That's good. horse. Yeah. One of the things I think I haven't told you guys yet mm. is almost everywhere I've gone that serves sushi serves horse. I'm well, sorry the camera shut off. The last time I had it on, uh, we were in the car talking about our food and stuff, and then the I don't know why the battery died so fast wow. I think because it That's was right. upside down on the windshield is on getting hot and it was in the Sun and it was like 25 degrees yeah. today so what do you think I, of this car here you like that that, that is, little truck right? looks like Santa's yeah. cute little car Santa's uh, vehicle for uh, mail service yeah cool jeez uh, Mount Fuji is like pretty much visible this is not like a perfect blue sky yeah. behind it, so but at least we can see it, which yeah. I've been looking up every every time we're outside. So we just bought a ticket. It's uh, I have to ex get on get on a train here. It's an hour to the first yeah. stop, which and then is, yeah. which is what one? It's Hachioji. Hachioji. Then you're gonna change change to, to Yokohama, Yokohama line. line. Yokohama. Go to Yokohama. Change. Get off of Yokohama. Tokaido. Tokaido line to, to my final destination. Final destination. <sighs> there'll be an awesome travel day by myself tomorrow. Some good shots. Oh yeah, there'll be a lot of shots. Lost I'll be like, lost where, in the, Japan. where am I? For the video to lost, lost in Japan. In Japan. <laughs> I am 
on a quest by myself without the aid of a white Canadian who speaks <laughs> Japanese. Uh, so, uh-oh, let me run over. And he's turning into me. Uh, so I'm at uh, Ojino. Ojino. And oh, another person's gonna kill me. And uh, so I'm on adventure to go get some beer. I just finished putting together the food review. Now I want to celebrate with a beer because I'm all happy. I still need to put a vlog together tonight because I have to leave early in the morning to head down to Eric's place. And, uh, ooh, ooh, colorful. Lots of fish here in Japan. You don't see this stuff in Canada. Ugh. Ooh, what the? Jeez. So, yeah. Oh boy. I don't think I'll get copyrighted for that music. We got octopus, squid, calamari. Holy schmoly. Aw. We got a crazy giant prawn. Those are big suckers. I said suckers, people. Pick your own. So let's get some beer. Want to get drunk? Holy cow! Four liter jug of whiskey. And they've got a whole bunch of them. Check that out. That is an amazing amount of alcohol. That's if you want to really party. Holy jump. Bacardi, that's about, I think, 30 plus dollars in Canada. And here it is. 1400 yen, which is probably about 15 bucks, half price. I'm moving to Japan. Ooh. Found it. I'm gonna do one of these two. One, two. Kanichiwa. Uh, there we go. Oh, I should put it there. There we go. You have to bring your bucket over here and pack up your stuff. Hope you guys didn't mind that angle. All right, I don't think I had to tell her I was English. I probably didn't have to say anything at all. Like just, you know, give her, say hi, give her the product that I want to buy, and then, you know, look at the cash, see how much it is, give her the money. Arigato, take the stuff, leave. <laughs> That's pretty much all you have to do. Well, there you go, guys. I made it through. Let's go tell Paul that I didn't die. I'm home. Oh. <laughs> Everything went well. Yeah. Saw a lot of dead fish. It was like going to the fish market again. Oh, you did it a good tour? A little bit of tour, yeah. yeah. Especially. Did you see the loaves of bread that I was describing? The no, I didn't, I didn't notice uh, that. I just went through the whole fish section and then I uh, found the beer section. And, and, then and you're right, it was right on the end because yeah. I went through the liquor bottles that are four liters. I showed the guys about the four uh, liter bottles of booze. Yeah. And then just kept going zigzagging. And I wasn't sure what aisle end. On the side? 
like the boxes of bento boxes and sushi and stuff. See, I didn't see that. Oh, I no. saw a I lot of. I should have prepped you better. A little bit better. I could have wandered a bit more, but yeah. I'm thirsty. Okay. All right, guys, the vlog is now over. Uh, I just finished uploading uh, my video. Uh, Paul has just finished uploading his video. Uh, his, what was the name of the? That was for Zeki. For, for that town. That's what right. Town that is. What's Fu, the? Fudu Seki. Yeah. And that had an amazing little temple. Uh, and I just uploaded my food video finally. But now we're just gonna go get some curry. Yeah. Let's and get some curry. And we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Say bye, Paul. Bye, Paul.